Greetings, Jess Daniels here. Uh, anything LLM has dropped. We have a new version, so let's take a look at it. I'm going to run it from the terminal on my Ubuntu machine. I set up an alias so that I can run it with this command. And it's uh, pulled it. And now we go, uh, in a moment, it's going to say, go here, download a new version. We're using for Linux. We're going to copy this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this and run the command. And hopefully it's doing something in the background. I'm not sure what. Let's take a look at our resources. CPU is spiking and network looks like it's doing something. Yeah, so it's pulling down data. And there's our status bar. Okay, after a little bit of uh, waiting, we have, uh, it says it's finished installing and now it gives us the start command here. Let's try this. Control Shift C and then Control Shift V. All right, didn't like that. Let's try with the period at the end. Didn't like that either. Didn't like that either. Okay, so the start command, documentation issues. All right, and we're going to just go ahead and try one more time. Control Shift C, the whole thing. Control Shift V, no such directory. Okay, so let's see where it's supposed to be. CD. Oh, it's right there. Anything LLM, LS. Start. Okay, so that was how to get it started. And it looks like it's working. <laughs> what do you want? Um, that's actually, I think that's my command. And it looks like everything is, all of my data is still there. My history is still there. Uh, let's take a look at the settings, see if anything has changed. What do I, yeah, that's my um, my very friendly message here. Let's see if I can edit that. Um, uh, how do you want to help to make the world a better place? Let's fix that. And agent skills. Now, if we go to the chat, we'll see that there is mention here. Uh, if you can write Node.js, you can make agents do anything you want. Uh, okay. Our no code interface is about to come live and a simple calling agent. All right, so that's a different video. Uh, let's take a look at what the change, the change log has to say. Okay, send and embed information directly to anything. All right, so let's. That was something that didn't work in one six four. Let's try it now. Uh, I'm going to download it wherever it is. There it is. Add to Chrome. Add extension. 
Okay, let's go ahead and set that as we'll pin it for the moment. How do I use it? Uh, connecting the browser. Okay, so sidebar tools, you will land on a page generate API button. Click a create API. All right, so let's take a look at that. Tools, browser extension. All right, I'm going to pause for the generate the new API key because you don't need to see that. Okay, I walk through the process of getting the API key installed. And now if I go back to the browser here, uh, it says I'm connected. So let's, uh, let's try and generate some documentation for how to use anything LLM, which I think is a critical new thing that applications should be doing. So I'm going back to my workspace and then new workspace. I'm going to call this Alm How To's. Save that. And I'm going back here and I'm going to just grab some random text. I don't really care that much about accuracy at this time. So right click anything LLM, save. Uh, okay, embed selected to. All right now it doesn't it's not aware of my my newest creation which makes sense because i just i just spawned that uh so but it does look like it works so i'm going to just drop this into a test workspace uh is it working that's a great test and let's go back to is it working and let's see what is in my directory. Nothing here. Oh, okay. So is it working? Here's the browser extension. I can't see what's inside here. So I don't know. This is what really bugs me. I can't see what's inside. So I don't know, in fact, if it worked. But it's September 12, 940 and September 12, 940. All right. So something happened. Uh, let's see if that something can translate. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. How, okay. So I'm going to, that is all well and good. I close this and now I go to, is it working? And now, um, uh, da, 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 da. you can use browser extension. Okay. What is the browser extension good for, and let's see if it's going to pick up on the new information that I just gave it and take a look at our CPU, which spikes because I'm only on 16 gigs of Ram on an ancient eight, uh, eight core Xeon chip top of the line eight years ago today, not very good. All right, so it's still working, working hard. CPU fan is spinning up. CPUs are spiking. Okay, now this is almost direct copy, almost word for word for the text that I copied here. Story I'm going to extend could be a pretty good researcher students. Are, wow, okay, so it's now. Uh, it's interpolating what this browser extension does. Did it also go okay? And it also includes citations. All right. Enough of this. Thanks for watching. Big shout out to shout out to Tim Karambat for all of his good work. Thanks, Tim, and thanks to the all uh, anything LLM crowd. If you like this uh, video, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Happy computing.